The World Health Organization has classified gaming disorder as a disease for the first time. Psychiatrists in Taiwan say that more and more people here are becoming dependent on electronic games. Gaming addiction is already recognized as a mental health condition by the Ministry of Health and Welfare. The gaming industry is booming all across Asia, but it's not just professionals who can spend all day gaming. Some gamers use the pastime to escape the difficult reality of normal life. Now the WHO has officially recognized gaming addiction as a mental health condition. It means the person uses games for longer and longer periods of time, or more and more frequently. They may reach a stage where they feel out of control, where they can't continue doing the things they normally would. Now that phones are always in the pocket, it's hard to define addiction by the amount of time spent on a game. Instead, doctors are focusing more on the mental state that accompanies the game playing. We've found there are a lot of junior and senior high school students who, after using games for long periods in the summer or winter holidays, develop a disorder we call school refusal. They can't go to school when the semester starts, or they just sleep all through their classes. This is something we're very worried about. Taiwanese research has indicated that many of the people considered at high risk of getting addicted to games are minors. 7% are in elementary school, 12% in junior high, and at least 10% in senior high. About 1 in 10 young people is believed to be addicted to games.